As you may know, Lauren and I are expecting our first child. In fact, by the time you watch this video, he may already be born. So like any responsible, soon-to-be dad, I've been putting the nursery together, putting his things together, baby-proofing the house. Nah, I'm just kidding. Actually, I've been investing my time in a very cool but very involved project called the Hollow Mat. So without further ado, let's check it out. We all saw that incredible scene in Iron Man where Tony Stark is building his Iron Man armor and he's able to manipulate a hologram of the armor all while Jarvis is assisting him in the design. That's what I wanted. However, what inspired me to start this project was seeing the incredible work done by Concept Bytes on their channel. I built my project on top of their design and code, and I would have never thought to make a hollow mat in the first place. So I want to give a huge thank you to Concept Bytes. Be sure to check out their channel. I'll leave a link to them in the description below. Before we get started, I want to point out that building this project was a challenge, even though it didn't need to be. There were a couple of times I felt like giving up, but I persevered and I'm glad that I did. If you watch this, I'm hoping you'll avoid the mistakes that I made. On paper, the hollow mat is just three layers, a silicone base, a touchscreen, and a vinyl top. Simple, right? And at first it was. The silicone and the touchscreen went together perfectly. The controller board hooked up, I grounded it, connected it to the computer, and it just worked. At this point, I was feeling myself, thinking that the rest of the project was gonna be easy, but I was wrong, so, so wrong. The problem arose when I attempted to apply the vinyl layer, which is necessary for the Holomat's user interface to be visible. Now, I know there are pros out there who wrap cars and tabletops in vinyl all day, but I really struggled with this part, even after watching tutorials on how to apply it. I even enlisted Lauren's help at one point. I tried five times to get this vinyl on without wrinkles. Five, maybe more, I don't know, I lost count. But the best I could manage after those attempts was a surface that looked like it was having a major acne breakout. But I figured I could fix it. I carefully poked the bubbles with the needle, squeegeed the air out, and finally got a usable. I trimmed off the excess vinyl, plugged in the mat, fired it up, and nothing. During the trimming process, I had sliced off a tiny sliver of the touchscreen, and that is all it took to break the entire project. So I panicked for a moment, and then when I calmed down, I bought and applied some copper conductive tape. I was ready to celebrate, but then I tested it out and still nothing. At this point, I was ready to quit. I had already invested so much time, money, and energy into a project that was hanging on by a thread, and with a baby on the way, I was starting to feel very guilty about that. But something inside of me said, don't give up, don't quit. So I ordered a new touchscreen and resolved I was gonna make this work. Round two, here we go. But I knew if I was gonna install that vinyl, I needed to call in my secret weapon my dad. Working with my dad was actually the most fun part of this project. It's my favorite way to spend time with him, and he's also a fountain of knowledge when it comes to building things, so I try to soak up as much as I can. But like that screw will pull it back in again, I think. Okay. Push those, like these edges. Yeah. Push those all towards the center. Yeah. And when the screw goes in, it'll suck them in the middle. Okay. All right, what do we got in the beer in here? Have whatever you want. I'm looking. See what's in the beer and We've got Guinness and Sierra Nevada. After applying the vinyl layer with double-sided tape, we mounted the projector to display the user interface on the mat. Oh, baby. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. This tightening thing here. Mm -hmm. This, I think you can oh, shorten slide this up. And then you're just going to put your camera more back in the center, I think. Yeah. Because you're out, you're like right here right now. Yeah, you so it, does back need, it does need to come in a little bit. Yeah, it's an inch or two, I think. Dad had the idea to screw these boards on the wall to make it easier for mounting the electronics, and I'm glad that we did. With the hardware finally complete, it was time for my favorite part, the software. Now, the code from Concept Bytes is a fantastic foundation. It looks incredible, and it emulates that Iron Man UI. But for me, the whole point of a project like this was to make it my own. So. I decided to give the entire user interface a complete overhaul. The first significant change I made was implementing this Honeycomb UI. I've always wanted to create a Honeycomb user interface, and this seemed like the perfect opportunity. I improved the icons, added twinkling and shooting stars in the background, and I cleaned up what I considered clutter in the UI. I also replaced the Jarvis AI with Haley, which is the custom AI assistant I've been building for years, aka Lauren 2.0. 
She already runs on my phone and in my house, so it only felt right to make her the brains of the hollow mat too. Who is Lauren Speed Hamilton? Lauren Speed Hamilton is known from the reality TV show Love is Blind. She appeared on the first season of the show where she met and married Cameron Hamilton. I might do a full video on Haley's capabilities, so if that's something you want to see, let me know in the comments. So the hollow mat is finally finished after many months of working on it. <laughs> I didn't think this project was going to take this long, but without further ado, let's test it out. But the biggest reason I built the hollow mat is this. Create an Airedale Terrier inspired by Pixar. Using a generative AI pipeline, the hollow mat takes my voice, converts it to a text prompt, generates an image, and then transforms that image into a 3D model, all right here on the mat. The entire workflow from idea to model happens in seconds. I have so many use cases in mind for this. Everything from building parts for a robot I'm designing, to parts for a home remodeling project, to toys for our son. And I even have the hollow mat set up to send the designs directly to a 3D printer. The only problem is, I don't have a 3D printer. So if there are any 3D printer companies interested in sponsoring the next video, let me know. Being able to create 3D models just by saying what you want is fantastic. But there are also thousands of incredible models out there that creators have spent countless hours fine tuning and releasing for free to the world. Since I don't like reinventing the wheel, I created a simple search engine for models that will pull them directly into my 3D printing workflow. Now the idea with this hollow mat is I should be able to place physical objects I'm working on on top of the mat and the camera mounted above should be able to take photos of the project, analyze it with the system's AI and assist me with the next steps of the project. Although I don't have the camera mounted up there just yet, I've already developed some software to help me. First, I implemented camera calibration to deal with the fact that the camera might not be perfectly centered over the mat. Even a slight angle in the camera would create a perspective distortion, so the camera calibration fixes this by mapping the camera's distorted pixel coordinates onto the real-world coordinates of the hollow mat surface. Next, I gave the AI depth perception. It analyzes clues like shadows and textures to calculate how far away every point in an image is. This is crucial so the AI knows it's looking at a real 3D screw and not just a flat picture of one. To make use of this technology, I created the PCB Doctor app that's able to take photos of circuit boards, diagnose what's wrong with them, and guide you through repairing them. Since I'm just getting into electrical engineering, I thought this tool would be invaluable for me to learn the ropes. Now, I don't have a broken PCB to test with at the moment, but luckily the PCB doctor determined that this board was healthy. I've had a blast creating the software for this project because for me, creating is rewarding all by itself, even without some end goal in mind. And this hollow mat is an excellent platform for developing in whatever way you want to take it. Again, I want to say thank you to Concept Bytes for inspiring me to build this project, as well as a thanks to Iron Man and Marvel for inspiring us all. Be sure to let me know what you thought of this video and this project in the comments down below, and let me know what other fun projects you want to see me build. Until next time, I'll see you very soon.